Um, my name's Alan Levine. I'm a naturalized American citizen. I've been an American American citizen for about 40 years. I came to this country in 1970 and uh, lived, have lived in Georgia about 30 years. I love this country. It's a fabulous place. And you're willing to give back this year by running for Congress? Yes, I do. Uh, what made you decide to put your neck out and go into politics and run against incumbent Tom Graves? I believe that our economy is tanking. I believe that in a matter of 24 to 36 months, we will have a structural collapse of the American economy and it's really easy to fix and provide millions of new jobs in the interim. It is so easy, it just takes a voice in Congress. Unless you have a voice in Congress, um, you don't have a voice, you're just noise. I want to have a voice and I will commit enough money and effort necessary to have that voice because with that voice is a vote and you can change things if you're in Washington. What is, what is your plan? What is your goal to, to make things change and, and, and put America back to being one of the great countries? Well, America still is the, the number one country in the world, but China is, is nipping at our heels. China's domestic product uh, is very similar to ours. According to the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, uh, they are actually a lot, have a larger economy than ours. However, what I want to do is to eliminate taxes on products that are manufactured here in the United States. What that means is that if, you, if a manufacturer builds products using U.S. built components, they'll get to keep the profits without paying corporate income taxes. What that means in practice, because corporations are sane, unlike our Congress, is that um, they will go to where the money is and they will manufacture here, they will bring jobs back from China, they'll stop outsourcing jobs to Mexico, to Canada, to China because they'll make more money by manufacturing here in the United States. What is, what is your background? What qualifies you to, to, to be a congressman? Well, back in the in the 70s, I used to be a certified financial planner, a CFP, and I used to work in government securities. Um, I've been in the technology business for about 30 years. I know where the uh, market is going. I follow the international currency markets every single day. I listen to global news. Well, tell me something about you that, 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 that folk, your personal life, tell me about hobbies, interests, family. What's, what's some things folks need to know about you before they go to the poll and, and check your name? Okay, well, uh, we've been married about 20 years, almost 20 years. We do not have any children, so there isn't a, uh, um, a dynasty point of view for running for Congress. Um, we have lived in Georgia about 30 years. Um, I am passionate about giving back to this country. This nation's been really good to me. If I'd have ultimately gone back to the United Kingdom from where I uh, am originally from, I would not have done as well. Uh, I want to create millions of jobs, new jobs, because I've underst I understand that one half of the working public in our nation has less than a thousand dollars in savings. So when we go off the cliff, if we go off the cliff in a couple of years, uh, it will be a disaster, it will be a cascading disaster. And I am determined to stop that, which is why I want to go to Washington and enact a series of laws uh, with my colleagues so we can stop the collapse of the dollar and to create new businesses. Living throughout the world, what is it about Northwest Georgia that you love? This is where you call home, and this is, and these are the people that you want to represent. Unlike a big city such as Atlanta, to me, the 14th district, which is Northwest Georgia, is really what I always envisioned of America to be. 
naturally as a youngster I used to watch the movies and read the uh, Newsweek magazines and whatever and I always envisioned that, a, that America was really like Rome and its suburbs. It just was such a, to me, is what America is. Atlanta or, or Dallas, Texas or New York City or San Francisco isn't quite America. They're big cities. But this area is, to me, the real America.